Oh, what's up guys? Justin here with the renderingessentials.com. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk you through how to get your models from twin motion to Unreal Engine while keeping the materials. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so before we get started, if you do wanna learn more about how to use twin motion to create realistic renderings, make sure you check out my twin motion course. So my course is a start to finish guide teaching you exactly how to use twin motion, all the way from the fundamentals and getting started with working in twin motion, all the way through going through some detailed examples of creating exterior and interior renderings um, so that you can know exactly how to create um, those renderings directly inside of twin motion so if you are interested in taking your twin motion learning to the next level make sure you check that out at the rendering essentials.com slash twin motion course all right so note that this process is new to twin motion 2023.1 um, i'm currently using the preview version but it's not going to work this way in the 2022 and earlier versions so if you want to use this method in order to get things into Unreal Engine, you just want to make sure that you have 2023 and up installed, and this process should be about the same. All right, so this is a model I've downloaded from the SketchUp 3D Warehouse. It's the Contemporary Home by Stephen C. So if you do want to download this and follow along, you definitely can. All right, and so what I've done is I've imported this using the import function into Twin Motion. So um, I haven't really done very much with it. I'm not going to do a lot of material setup or anything like that. I'm more focused on bringing the model from Twin Motion over to Unreal Engine. So let's talk a little bit about the export process first because it's actually really easy. So all you have to do is just go to File. And there's an option here to export to Datasmith file. And so that's gonna export a Datasmith file as well as some folders with information that Datasmith inside of Unreal Engine needs um, in order to import this. Now, um, let's talk just for a second about what you need inside of Unreal Engine for this to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open up Unreal Engine. So you can do that through the Epic Games Launcher. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna launch Unreal Engine 5.1.1. All I've done is created an empty project and I called it import example. Um, you could definitely come in here and create your own project just using the blank or the ArcVis settings, whatever you want. For me, I'm just gonna open up this project right here. It's gonna take a minute to open up and then we can go through and we can import this model into Unreal Engine. All right, and so once we've done that, what we can do is we can actually import this using Datasmith. Now there's a couple things to be aware of before we do this. The first thing is you wanna go up into your edit plugins and you wanna make sure a couple plugins are enabled. So first off, you wanna make sure that Datasmith importer is enabled. This should be built into your Unreal Engine, so you should be able to just search for Datasmith right here in order to do that. Um, and then just make sure the box is checked. That's gonna give you the ability when you click on the add to the project, and note that I am in Unreal Engine 5, um, but when you add to the project, you can just go to import assets, Datasmith. Okay, so there's one other add-on or plugin that you need to make sure that you have installed. It's the Twin Motion Content add-on. It's the twin motion content for Unreal Engine. You're probably not going to have this um, when you first open up Unreal Engine. So what you need to do is you need to go into the Epic Games Launcher and then within the Unreal Engine tab you need to go into the Marketplace. When you go into the Marketplace that's going to allow you to search for the twin motion content plugin. And so it's called twin motion content for Unreal Engine. And basically what this does is this allows you to import um, your twin motion files and it's actually gonna set up the materials. So this is actually really important because if you don't do this, then you're just gonna get like a, like a mesh with no materials applied to it. And so you're just gonna wanna click on the install to engine button and you're gonna wanna install it to Unreal Engine 5.1. Note that this was a really big file size. Um, it doesn't show up in here anymore. Uh, maybe it shows up in my library. Now it still doesn't show me the size, but I, I remember this being like a 20 or 30 gigabyte file, which seemed like a lot to me. So I'm a little surprised that it takes up that much. But um, if you want this to work, you're gonna wanna install that at least for right now. And so you wanna make sure that you install the Twin Motion content plugin, and then you need to go over into Unreal Engine and you need to make sure that it's enabled. And when you enable this, it's gonna make you restart Unreal Engine. So just be aware of that. When you check this, it's gonna say this is gonna to have to restart in order to enable this plugin or something like that. So once you have both of those turned on, then you should be able to import your models into Unreal Engine. So in this case, all I would do is I would just click on the drop down right here and go to Datasmith, and we're gonna click on the File Import button. 
When I do that, I can go find that datasmith file that I exported, which is right here. And again, remember how um, in addition to that datasmith file being right here, it's also got the support stuff um, in these folders. I, I think maybe it'll only have this one until you create this, I'm not 100% sure, but just double click on the datasmith file what's in here. So if we just double click on this, it's gonna ask us where we wanna put the Datasmith content. And in this case, what I've done is I've created a folder down here for that. Um, a lot of that's gonna depend on the way that you organize your Unreal Engine files. For me, the contemporary home file is gonna be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and click on okay. And then it's gonna give me a whole bunch of options in here. So things like process, um, things like some static, me static mesh options. I pretty much leave these alone. I make sure that they're all enabled. And then we're gonna click on the import button. So when I do that, what that's gonna do is that's going to import my model with textures directly into Unreal Engine. All right, so now everything that we had in our model in Twin Motion is now going to show up in Unreal Engine. So notice how we've got our meshes set up. We've also got our materials brought in and they're following the same like uh, material mapping that we had over in Twin Motion. So we should be ready to go. You can start using this inside of Unreal Engine. So if you have any questions about this process, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Remember that I do have a course where you can learn how to use Twinmotion to create realistic renderings. You can check that out at therenderingessentials.com slash Twinmotion course. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.